The work and procedures shown and described in this videotape are intended for people having a fundamental understanding and familiarity with the subject presented in this program. Every possible circumstance that might involve potential hazard could not have been anticipated in the production of this program. The warnings and safety suggestions in this videotape are not inclusive of every situation. You must satisfy yourself that the operations and procedures you use in your situation are safe for you and people around you. Before operating any equipment, review the machine owner manual and become totally familiar with the controls and safety procedures for that particular machine. The makers of this videotape disclaim any liability for injury or damage arising out of attempts to perform the work or procedures shown and described in this videotape. If other materials are used, such as fuels, lubricants, cleaners, or chemicals, precautions for handling should be obtained from container labeling. This program is not a substitute for the owner or operator manual supplied with the machine. Remember, as always, consult your supervisor if you have any questions when operating equipment. On the golf course, the space between the tee and the green, where players spend much of their time during a round of golf, is generally divided into two areas. The fairway, mowed shorter for better playability, and the rough, as the name implies, an area where grass is usually kept longer to penalize for a poor shot. Today, we're going to cover some tips to help you mow these areas correctly and efficiently while taking proper care of the mower and keeping yourself and others safe from injury. Not all golf courses are alike. Yours may have procedures that are different than those shown here. In that case, always follow your supervisor's instructions. Golf courses cut fairways with different types of mowers. Lightweight fairway mowers like this are one of the more popular. It's lightweight to reduce soil compaction. The cutting units are hydraulically driven for smooth power. Three of the cutting units are out front so you can watch the cutting line easier while you mow. The reels are relatively small in diameter to help provide a smooth cut at lower heights. And the cutting units are typically around 21 or 22 inches wide to better follow undulations and turns. Golf courses also mow fairways with wider cut mowers and pull behind gang mowers like this. Both usually have hydraulically powered cutting units. With these mowers, the cutting units are heavier to better mow tougher grasses like Bermuda found on many courses in the south. The other benefit from these fairway mowers is productivity. With wider mowers, the job is done faster. Golf courses also use a variety of mowers for the roughs, such as hydraulic pull-behind gang mowers, ground-driven gang mowers, or wide-cut rotary mowers like this one. In tighter areas, many courses will use these smaller out-front rotary mowers or even zero-turn mowers. Although techniques and equipment for mowing fairways and roughs are different, when it comes to getting started, many of the same do's and don'ts apply. Let's take a look. Typically when you start the day, your supervisor will have job assignments for the crew written on the chalkboard. Check your assignment, then when ready, locate the mower you're using for the job. Since different areas are mowed at different heights, and because there are many types of mowers, using the correct mower set at the correct height of cut is important. Some golf courses label their mowers to indicate the height of cut they are set at. If you have any doubt, check with your supervisor. Before starting, make a complete visual check of the machine and engine 
including belts and hoses. Look for damage, wear, loose bolts, missing guards or shields, and check under the machine for leaks. Check the engine oil. The level should be within the safe range indicated by either etched marks or holes on the dipstick. On hydraulic powered units, check the hydraulic oil level too. If either oil levels are low, refill to the correct level and replace the fill caps before starting. Check the air cleaner indicator or on some units the air filter itself to make sure the filter is clear of debris, especially in dusty conditions. Check the engine coolant to make sure it is in the safe range shown on the tank. Next, check the fuel level. Though most manufacturers recommend refueling at the end of the previous day, it's better to check so you don't get stuck on the course. More on fueling later. Check the tires for proper pressure. Inflate them if they are low. Finally, inspect the cutting units for nicks or damage. Always wear gloves when doing this. The blades and bed knives are sharp. Some courses have the equipment manager do this inspection. Have any damage or wear you find during inspection repaired before you mow. After inspection, climb aboard the mower and adjust the seat so your work is comfortable and safe. Most rough mowers, tractors, and fairway mowers have a rollover protection system or ROPS to protect you from being crushed if the mower rolls. If your mower has a ROPS, you must wear the seat belt to keep you from being thrown from the machine and crushed. Next, check the safety interlocks. To do this, engage the PTO or power takeoff, the lever that powers the cutting units, and then turn the key. The engine should not start when the PTO is engaged. Next, disengage the PTO but release the parking brake. On this machine, the engine will start when the brake is not engaged, only when you are sitting in the seat. Now, with the engine running, get off the machine. As you leave the seat, the engine should stop. If any of these interlocks malfunction, do not mow with this machine and notify your technician. On some courses, the equipment manager will check safety interlocks. Mowing fairways is not difficult, but since fairways are a critical part of any golf course, and good fairway play important to a successful round of golf, most courses have established practices to promote quality turf conditions. To help sit the ball up for the golfer, a quality fairway has turf that is dense, smooth, and uniform. Like greens, fairways are mowed at shorter heights, although not as short, typically around 3 eighths to 5 eighths of an inch. Also as with greens, courses usually have an established mowing pattern that changes regularly. You may cross mow in one direction on one day and the other direction the next. This helps the grass grow more upright and grass that grows upright will sit the ball up to give golfers a better chance at making a good shot. Cross mowing also provides an attractive visual pattern. Always check the day's mowing pattern before starting. When you are ready to mow, transport out to the first hole travel at safe speeds, and stay on the cart paths when possible to avoid unnecessary wear to the turf. Always show courtesy to golfers using the cart paths. They're your customers. Check and wait for oncoming play before crossing fairways. And transport across rough terrain with caution at a slow speed to avoid bouncing the cutting units and knocking them out of adjustment. Part of the beauty on a golf course comes from the striping found on the fairways. This means mowing in straight lines is important. Based on that day's mowing pattern, try picking an object like a tree in the distance, straight across the fairway, and aim for it as you go. When ready, move toward the fairway, engage the PTO, and lower the cutting units just as the front units cross onto the fairway. The reels are timed so the rear units lower and raise after the front to help you avoid cutting into the taller rough surrounding the fairway. Mow across the fairway either straight, diagonally, or lengthwise in a straight line, lifting the cutting units just before you reach the rough on the other side. Make a slow wide turn to avoid scuffing the turf, then line up your second pass to slightly overlap the first by about three inches. With gang mowers, move completely onto the fairway, then lower and engage the cutting units to mow. 
Mowing with a gang mower can be done in different patterns. A spiral pattern or a harvesting pattern. Follow the pattern designated by your supervisor. To finish the fairway, make a final cleanup or perimeter pass around the outside edge. Watch closely to maintain a clean edge and avoid cutting into the rough. If catching clippings, follow your course procedure for disposal. Many simply spread clippings in the rough area. Be sure to spread the clippings well. Clumps can kill grass and interfere with play. Always maintain a steady, consistent speed when mowing fairways to ensure a smooth cut. If you mow too fast, the cutting units will bounce and the grass will have a washboard or wavy appearance. Some grass may not be cut at all. Always be alert for problems with the quality of cut or with the machine as you mow. If the mower is not cutting correctly, if warning lights come on or gauges indicate a problem, or if you smell something burning, stop immediately, pull to the side of the fairway and call the technician. An important part of your job is to always check for drops or streaks of oil on the turf at the end of each pass. If the machine leaks oil, move to the far rough area via the shortest route. Hot hydraulic oil will kill turf grass and contaminate the soil, resulting in expensive restoration costs and an ugly fairway. Never let an oil leak go unnoticed. Keep the unit moving when the cutting units are engaged. If you stop, the turning reels will mark the turf. Mowing roughs is a big job. On most courses, there's plenty of ground to cover and a variety of obstacles and terrain. As with fairway mowers, transport carefully. When you get off the mower, stop on a level area, turn off the engine, set the brake, and remove the key. Clear the area of branches and debris before starting and watch for debris while mowing to avoid damage to reels or decks and injury to bystanders from flying debris. Remove stakes and signs before mowing, then replace them exactly where you found them. If there is no set mowing pattern for roughs at your course, a common approach is to begin next to the fairway and make lengthwise passes following the fairway curves as you mow. Your mower is set at a higher height of cut, so overlap the fairway slightly on your first pass. Don't discharge clippings onto the fairway. Trim carefully and slowly around trees, flower beds, and other obstacles. Try to mow close, but not so close that you cause damage. If you scrape bark from a tree, it may cause it to die. Also with rotaries, do not discharge grass toward bystanders or property. Be alert when mowing with a wide cut mower. Raise the outside decks or reels before entering tight areas to avoid damaging the wing units. Be cautious on hills and slopes, especially if the grass is wet. Follow the manufacturer's recommended procedure for slope mowing. Generally, if a slope feels unsafe, it probably is unsafe. Do not put yourself at risk. Do not mow through puddles. Mow slowly in wet areas and avoid sharp turns to keep from marking or scuffing the turf. Always look behind you before backing up. As with fairway mowers, stay alert to monitor the quality of cut and the machine's performance. On ground-driven gang mowers, watch to make sure the wheels are always turning and the cutting units are operating correctly. A locked-up cutting unit can damage the turf. And show courtesy to golfers. If they are going to hit, stop out of the way, turn off the engine, and wait. Then proceed when the area is clear. When you're finished mowing, there's some preventive maintenance you should do to keep the mowers in top shape. First, let the engine cool, then use compressed air to blow clippings from the air intakes. Next, rinse the machine off thoroughly with the water set at a low pressure. Be sure to rinse clippings from the cutting units on real mowers and from under the deck or decks on rotary mowers. After rinsing is a good time to lubricate grease points. Check with the service technician or supervisor for policy at your golf course. Refuel the machine before parking it for the night. Remember, diesel fuel for diesel engines, gasoline for gas engines. 
Do not overfill the tank. Replace the fuel cap and follow all posted safety precautions. Well, there it is, some tips for mowing fairways and roughs. Remember, not every course is the same. Yours may have procedures that are different than those shown here. Always follow your supervisor's instructions and work carefully, safely, and with pride. Thank you for watching.